and turn to my first software love, Photoshop. Some of you might have seen demos of this. This is a picture from my schoolhouse. I have a little entertainment center up front and some of my favorite things in the front of the room. And I think you all know what would happen if I used free transform. Oh, oh wrong layer. I'll do it too. And if I were to squish these down, <laughs> it looks dumb. Right? Am I over time? I'm over time. But if I use the new and exciting content aware scaling, it says this stuff is boring. I'll crush that. This stuff has some th something going on. I will not crush them as much. It'd still get kind of stupid if you get it too close. If um, if you know how to make a selection, as there's another image here I'd like to open real quick. One of the official Adobe demo assets. This is one of the official demi Adobe demo assets here. And what they like to show is using the old uh, quick selection tool. That's the wand. What the hell is that doing? And uh, doing a quick little dab on him, him. Take it the head, foot, and a quick save of that selection. These are my dudes. Then, when you use that content aware scaling, you can tell it to protect your saved selection, the area that you had selected. So as I squish now, is that on? No, good. It respects them and condemns other stuff a little bit more. So if I pull this out, they're not so friendly anymore. If I tell it not to do that, the boards get a little uh, old school. <laughs> You can also tell it to protect flesh tones, which in this image, I guess, would be the beach, not the people. <laughs> yeah, the beach, not the people. So not always the right thing to do. So you can either go up or down with this tool. This uh, is pretty clever, called seam carving. 